Welcome to Bloodbath and Beyond. Today I'm breaking down the brand new 4K restored two disc Blu-ray edition of Suspiria from Synapse Films. I am a huge Suspiria fan. I'm also a huge Argento fan in general. Deep Red is one of my favorite movies as well. Same with Tenabra. I've watched that probably like 70 times. And Suspiria is one of those movies that I've been waiting for a definitive edition. We heard talks of Synapse making a brand new 4K restored version from the original Italian 35mm negatives for years. It's been in the works for three years now and it finally got a release. Uh, actually, this is the second release of the same 4K restored version because the original one was a limited edition steel book that came with a booklet and a CD as well, but it's only 6,000 pieces and the fan base and the audience for Suspiria is huge, so Synapse did the right thing and allowed a cheaper version to be spread to the masses. And I'm so happy I have it. So basically, I'm just gonna run down what's on the Blu-ray First and foremost, like I've said, we have a brand new 4K restored version. It's absolutely beautiful. Obviously when you're talking about Suspiria, you need those bright, vivid colors because that's Argento. And I mean, he's influenced so many different movies over his time. And so when restoring something like this, it's important to get it right. And fortunately, it was overseen by the original DP, Luciano Tavalli which is awesome because he's, it's his stamp of approval. This is how he wanted his work to be seen. And it's great that he was able to be a part of this whole process. Taking a look at the Blu-ray itself, obviously you can see there's brand new artwork. This is a reversible insert. So we do have the original artwork as well. This is two discs, both Blu-rays. One has the feature and one has all of the special features. The special features are excellent. There's a few notable ones that I thought were really cool. We've got a brand new retrospective, which is about half an hour long, in which you have notable people from the horror community, including Rebecca McKendry and Rob G from Shockwaves, uh, just kind of going over the background and the history of Suspiria and its influence as well as some like behind the scenes kind of stories. There's also a really cool visual essay that's uh, about witches from Michael McKenzie. This kind of goes into more of the witch aspect of Suspiria and breaks down some things really in depth, especially because you know, this is part of the Three Mothers trilogy with Inferno and the Mother of Tears. And it's just a really cool visual essay kind of going over the witch stuff. Um, very fun to watch. Some other features include an interview with Barbara McNulfi, as well as a location featurette about the locations that they used around Germany. And there's also even some of the original trailers and the TV and radio spots. The TV spots are ridiculous because some of them don't even show off the movie at all. But it's, it's cool to just kind of go back and watch what they were using to pitch Suspiria to the masses and I think it's nearly comical. I don't know how anybody was intrigued by some of these things. And if all that wasn't enough, there's also two audio commentaries if you want to watch the film. Again, with authors and Argento scholars. Uh, they study Argento's work through and through, and so they have a lot of really cool insight to the film and the filmmaking as well. Going back to the technical features for a second, I neglected to mention that this is the first time that we have the original uh, 4.0 surround sound English audio track. This has never been released, this is the first time on the Synapse version. The movie sounds and looks amazing, obviously you want it to sound great as well, so I encourage you to crank up your speakers. It does have great audio, um, and you can hear the lovely Suspiria tune that everybody is familiar with before even seeing the film somehow. I think this is going to be easily one of the best releases of the year because everybody wanted this for so long and it's great to have basically a definitive addition. Like this is the best that this movie can probably ever look. And I'm so happy to own it. If you guys are interested in checking it out, there are links in the description. It's from Synapse Films once again. There are a lot of technical things that they've done to make this a standout release um, that I probably wouldn't even recognize, like different bit rates for the audio and all that stuff. So definitely check out the description. And if you guys are interested in hearing me talk about Blu-rays a little bit more, let me know definitely in the comments. And if this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe to the channel, stay updated with everything, Bloodbath and beyond. <laughs>